Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the ARC tools. The ARC tools can be found under the Create menu, Curve tools, and then we have the three-point circular arc or the two-point circular arc. We'll go over both of these today. So two-point circular arc, we'll do that first. So if I click it, I have a little crosshair here. If I click once, I get this blue square. If I highlight over it, it becomes yellow. If, while it's yellow, if I click and drag, I can move it like this. And I can, it gives me this move tool gizmo. I can move the points around with the arrows like usual. And if I click, click over here and let go, it creates a curve between the, the two points that I've set. This is a two point arc. And you can see as I rotate the scene what it looks like. You can see here that I have this blue square here, and as I move it, the arc will update, and also the blue square here. And these two blue squares are the two points that I've placed, and then the curve is created as an arc between the two points. Now you see there's some other things going on here, this triangular shape, also this uh, text on the screen. This is telling me my radius. Right now it equals 10 point 011 centimeters. This blue dot here, if I click and drag it, you can see how I can increase the uh, height or depth of that arc. And if I cross this gray line, it kind of spins around to go to the other direction like this. It kind of looks like a bow and arrow, so to speak. I'm pulling back the bow and arrow. It makes the arc more shallow. If it goes more slack toward the middle here, it's much more broad. If I click this little blue circle, it will flip the arc back and forth like so. So yeah, arc, two point arc. If you try to put the two on top of each other, it doesn't really work too well because it is an arc type thing. It just kind of makes a big circle. But yeah, if you know you want a curve between two points that is an arc shape, you can definitely use this tool to do so. Click and drag these points around like so. Let's look at the uh, options for this one. Let's go to Create Curve Tools Two Point Circular Arc Options. I'll reset my tool here. So here we have our circular arc degree. By default, the degree is three, and then our sections is eight. If I select my curve, and go down here, you'll see I have, again, degree is cubic, which is also a word for having a degree of three. And my sections are eight here. And I can change this from cubic. I'm actually close this. I can change this degree from cubic to linear, which is one. And linear means that there's no curve or uh, arcing motion between the points, between sections. Each section is a straight line with a linear degree. You can see here with a linear degree, I can easily count my sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you'll see that I have eight sections, just like we have here. I can increase my section count by minimum clicking and dragging the sections value. If I go down to say four, you'll see I have four big lines here for each section of the curve. And you can increase or decrease that as you want. With a degree of cubic, it'll become more smooth, but the sections aren't changing. The sections also can be uh, a way of indicating how many CVs you have. If I right click on my curve and choose control vertex, you can see here I have these points along the curve. And however many sections I have indicates how many of these control vertices I have. You can see here there's also some more options here in the channel box if you open the make two point circular arc input folder. We have point 0.1x, point 0.1y, point 0.1z. So this is x, y, z coordinates of the first point that we placed. And then again, point 0.2 x, y, z, the x, y, z coordinates of the second point we placed. Then we have our direction vectors, our radius. If we change our radius, you see that's also how we change the depth of the arc. And that is also what that little blue line was. If we, you can also toggle arc on and off, hit one, 
for on, you see it flips it around. If I toggle arc off, it goes back the other way. But what this is actually doing is displaying the opposite section of the circle. It's not flipping the arc back and forth. It's displaying the other half of the circular arc that we created. If I go back to on, you'll see now we have this large circular shape, but the part that is missing was the part that was visible before. So you're kind of flipping on or off which section of the circle is being displayed with the arc tool. Go back to off and then it flips back to that section of that circular shape, that circular curve. So point one, point two, x, y, z coordinates, then our direction vectors. You can play with these to kind of see what happens, but you can see how it kind of rotates around. With the curve selected, if I go to Modify, Transformation Tools, Show Manipulator Tool, we'll get back to that uh, gizmo that we had before. And again, you can use these controls here to see here in the channel box what changes by clicking on this little blue circle and dragging, you're changing the radius value. If I click this blue circle, you see a toggle arc on and off. And then again, the XYZ coordinates of the two points are what these blue squares represent. So yeah, that's a two-point arc, two-point circular arc. Let's uh, go to a new scene and we'll try to three-point. So we go to Create, Curve Tools, then we have three-point circular arc. Let's click it. And I'm just going to click here in space. Again, I have the blue square that I can move if I click and drag on that square. I'll click over here, have another blue square, and over here. Now I have three points placed and an arc gets created. Similar to the two point, except this one required three points. Where the first and last points are the ends of the arc, and the second point is the apex or the height of that arcing uh, shape, the highest point. So we can move our three points around and get different shapes for the arc that we've created, like so. I'm going to hide the grid so it hopefully it'll be easier to see our curve. Let's uh, double click on three point arc tool and we have the similar settings. We can choose between linear or cubic, otherwise known as one or three, and increase or decrease our sections. I'll select my curve and again go into the channel box. You'll see I have the same kind of thing here. I have degree, cubic, which I can change to linear if I wished. Increase or decrease the number of sections. Close that. And then we have point one, two, and three XYZs with values where we can change the positioning of those three points that we placed. In this case, we do not have the flip option where we can't flip between the two sections of the circular uh, curve that we want to display. With a three point arc, it is, I guess it assumes you know what you're trying to display since you specified which high point you want to show. With the two point, you're not really specifying which side of the circle you want to display, so that's why it gives you the option. So yeah, three point arc and a two point arc. These can be found again under the Create menu, Curve Tools, three point circular arc and two point circular arc. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, learn a little bit more how to create these perfect arcing curves for uh, helping you create different shapes or different kind of motion paths. Uh, thanks again for watching. I hope if you have if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, if you have any requests for future uh, video subject matter, please definitely let me know. I'm, I want to make sure that the videos I create are going over things that you want to learn about. Uh, thanks again for liking and subscribing. If you feel like it, please take a look at my Patreon page. I'm definitely looking for more support through Patreon. Uh, Patreon is a service that allows you to donate to me so I can continue my uh, series here on YouTube and hopefully give you some perks uh, toward that goal. I have, I'm definitely looking for ideas if you would like to support me, but you know, you, you don't really feel like the perks are good enough. Yeah, let me know what you might want to uh, be, what you might be interested in, in that regard. And I'll definitely see what I can do. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I will talk to you later.